responsible for the edit job. We won the gold medal at Apomongia this year for the best general interest beekeeping magazine. But who actually gives them the copy to edit? Beecraft has got a very broad group of contributors who regularly send in articles that make the backbone of this wonderful magazine. And with me today, I've got Sarah Wyndham Lewis, who will now tell you that she's been working for Beecraft longer than I have. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So as a lot of people will know, we, we are a married couple. Uh, so I do want to say there was no nepotism here. Um, I've been a contributor to Beecroft for about five years now, actually, haven't I? Uh, which has been hugely interesting because I, I love the range of topics which they give me freedom to cover. So I write a monthly column for ages. I, I wrote uh, in my capacity as a professional honey sommelier about uh, world forage sources and the honey that they uh, produced uh, and I'm now writing a column called Honey on the High Street which is trying to give some air to real authentic honeys that are available everyone's struggling to find stuff in supermarkets that they feel confident in and rightly so because there isn't much you can find there so I want people to buy local honey and I want them to experiment with buying uh, things from online that I have actually had a look at and stuff, which is which is really good fun. It does mean that my desk is now more than usually covered in honey, uh, but uh, it, it, it's a great thing to do. But um, I mean, also I've had the opportunity to do quite a lot of feature uh, articles as well because we, off season, as a lot of beekeepers do, we we travel uh, and we go to all sorts of places like Cambodia and Burma. And uh, Beecroft gives me the opportunity to report back on that uh, to the bee species we've encountered, the uh, beekeepers who we've met, the stories that they have to tell. There's not a lot of other outlets for that sort of thing, but of course it, it is fascinating and I always hope people will maybe follow in our footsteps and go and, and connect with those beekeepers that we've connected absolutely. with. Absolutely, yeah, that's a real odyssey. Absolutely a, a fantastic thing to have. But you also have written um, articles about um, beekeepers relative to wild bees and yeah. Dave Golson yeah, was yeah. a particular interview. Yes, yes. I mean, I, I have worked with Dave Golson quite a lot. Uh, and, you know, as this whole thing, this whole topic uh, of, of people being very, very despising of honeybees and, and ecologists uh, really getting quite cross about beekeepers, I thought I'd, I'd beard the dragon in the nest, as it were, uh, and just ask Dave what it was that uh, he thought uh, was needed doing, how we could build bridges between the beekeeping community and the ecology community and that turned into an, a, an amazing article, it was a three hour conversation that I had with him which I had to render down to about 2,000 words but, um, uh, and it was a front cover story and as a journalist which I've, I've been most of my working life, a professional writer, to get the front covers was a bit of a dream really so um, yeah Dave did that for me. <laughs> sure but it's the great thing is getting topics like that into yeah. the mainstream. Yeah, and that's important too. They need to addressing. We can't just sit in our comfortable little beekeeping world uh, and, and think that we are, you know, virtue is conferred on us by the fact that we have hives. We need to address the issues in the wider ecology. I'm always very keen to do that. But I know that the editors always welcome people coming forward with projects yes, for them, with yes, ideas definitely. for beecraft and they pull along, yeah, publish, yeah. and to be, yeah. you know, uh, if, 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 even if you're a beginner, you haven't done it before, mm -hmm. the editors know how to guide people into that zone where they can write a constructive article and um, publish it in a nice, yeah, I think, you know, magazine. If people have an idea about something they want to write, you know, put it put it to them, because as you say, I mean, they're, they're professional, they can help you, even if you're, you're not naturally a writer, uh, to get to get your ideas out there. Uh, and of course, then you put the response from the readership. That is really interesting. That that interplay with the readership, their response to features. It's a very it's a very active community. Uh, the Beecroft um, sort of circle of people who read it, who write for it, uh, and you know the editors sit atop that. And uh, it's all it's always something that I find really rewarding to do to have pieces appearing and see see what people's responses to them. So. That's great. Well, I'm sure that you've deserved a little shaving of that Apimondia gold medal oh. uh, <laughs> yeah. and your part in the contribution. But everybody else who puts it together yes. have made it what it is. Yeah. And yeah. that's yeah. the family and that's what we are at Beecraft. Yeah. And we invite you to join us.